Okay. I'm winging it by the seat of my pants. <laughs> All right. <laughs> pants. That's what I do best. Pants. <laughs> Just go flying. Just like Aladdin on his magic carpet. There you go. Yeah. You can show us the world. <laughs> right? Do you trust me? Yes. I can show you the world. <laughs> I always used to do the, I always used to sing Aladdin's part for that. <laughs> so, Who's doing the intro today? Uh, I mean, uh, Jamie? <laughs> uh, I don't even know what to say. Good question. I don't know. Mm -hmm. We're kind of looking at, our... it's our year in review and what we're looking forward to in the year to come, basically. Sure. <laughs> Good enough. We're all here. Insert words. Insert words and phrases. <laughs> Jamie is no, not good at being put on the spot. <laughs> it's the it's the last week of the year, and we're just gonna have a chat about 2015 and all the crazy stuff we've done so far. And does anybody know how many articles we've actually written so far? Uh, I, can I can look that up. Okay, okay. Rach is on it. I'm I'm uh, I'm good. <laughs> Janine is done already. We haven't started yet. <laughs> hey, I just got home from work, so you know. Yeah, we have written 264. Wow. wow. Woo -woo. But that's, that's crazy. Counting. That is and counting. That's that's crazy for seven months worth of work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's considering. That hurts me. Um. <laughs> 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 Ronnie's injured. I'm done. 264. Um, There's only two left let's, in this let's, track. Let's let's throw it to Ronnie and what did you hope that this site would become when you first started it? Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> this might turn into some ugly like cry fest. Probably. Bring out the <laughs> tissues. Tissue warning. I don't have any tissues. Tissue warning. <laughs> I've got sleeves. Oh, sleeve warning. I don't sleeve and tissue warning. I don't necessarily know if I had, like, a clear vision. I just knew that um, there were a few things that I wanted to shed light on. And I'd, I had been wanting to start a blog for a really, really long time. Probably for about four years and I and I dabbled on a couple of things um, where I partnered with friends and such but they never really worked out um, at least not to the point where I could be consistent with it and I just remember thinking you know it's it's now or never and I was already like doing research on a bunch of nerdy news stuff especially and I was always like the one telling my friends what was going on um, like, uh, I have a bunch of nerdy co-workers, so I would always be the one that'd be giving the news updates, like, practically every morning. And one of my friends was just like, you know what, maybe you should just, like, start, you know, chronicling this and just, like, doing a sort of list of stuff. And I was like, well, wait a minute, that's an idea. And then I just started jotting down, like, all these different ideas that I wanted to do, um, including, like, a nerdy fashion post and... And, you know, art, nerd art, um, and, and all this stuff, and then, you know, I knew that you guys were, one, extremely good friends, and two, extremely well-spoken, and I knew I could count on y'all, and so I, ha I had to ask, and y'all were nice enough to say yes. Um, cause I quickly realized that I couldn't do everything myself and, um, and yeah, y'all have kept me as sane as you possibly can. Um, I think she means insane. <laughs> <laughs> no, y'all keep me in the gutter, which is nice. It's nice and warm there. That's what I mean, insane. <laughs> to me, but, why are you whispering? I don't know. I love you. <laughs> That's so creepy. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so it's, it's turned into 
a nice little community and I'm hopeful that it'll continue to grow and it'll be um, something that can continue to bring us joy. I want it to stay fun, so I'm always really conscious about, you know, you guys being okay and, and not feeling overwhelmed and still feeling engaged and getting enough credit and all that because I worry about that. But, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm hoping it'll get bigger and bigger. Aww. How about y'all? I kind of remember how the whole thing started when you were still doing it by yourself. I remember chatting either in the nerdery group or in a private message with you, and you were overwhelmed with it, and you weren't sure where to go or what to do with it, and we we started saying, oh, I could write this, and I could write that, and then it just kind of happened. Yeah. Um, before Nerdy Curiosities, I had started a blog, The Crafty Mom, and I had done that for almost a year, but then Ayla was quite young at the time, and she had just been diagnosed with autism, and things were really hard at that point. It was really hard for me to keep up with a blog, and I think taking a break from that and then finding this blog, an opportunity to share this experience with others made it more rewarding and definitely a lot easier than trying to do it on my own. Yeah, I think that was that was my big thing too, where I'm, I'm the kind of person that like I need a, a group of people around me to kind of push me um, to stay consistent because it's a lot easier for me to do stuff when I feel like other people are counting on me than just me. And that, that may sound a little fucked up to some people, because I'm sure some people are like, well, why can't you just do it for yourself? But it's, it's just, that's just how I function, so. I think it's an accountability thing that yeah, for sure. you rely on people and people rely on you, and so you have to hold up your end of the bargain. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. That's it. That, that's all I got. <laughs> Insert ditto here. I remember, Jen, you yeah. originally weren't gonna really do much with it's the blog. True. You were like, it's oh, true. I'll do a post maybe once a month. Once a month, yeah. And now That's you're like, scared of writing. Your foodie posts are quite popular. I'm still, I'm still scared of writing. That's why I always end up, little secret, doing it like... I, I, I split it up in two nights. I research on Wednesday, and I write it all up on Thursday. Because <laughs> well, I used it to... It works, I know. And it's it's because it's my schedule got crazier and crazier throughout... towards the end of this year, and, and so I had to... It went from... It went from typing it all on the weekend to <laughs> kind of last minute, <laughs> kind of, Wednesday and Thursday nights. That's what I do on my Wednesday and Thursday nights. Although, come 2016, I think I'm going to have to figure out a new writing schedule because I, I will have things to do on Wednesday nights, so <laughs> I have to move my writing schedule around. But, no, yeah, originally I was thinking of just, because I think I started off with my macarons and that was it, and just like being like, this is what you could do with macarons. You can create really funky looking things with them. <laughs> that, that, that's all I had. That was the idea. And then, um, and then I kind of abandoned that idea at like, after the first post, <laughs> abandoned it completely, but you know. That's good to experiment. All good, you know? things. All good things. Well, plus, like, I, I thought, well, I could probably bake once a month, but that didn't, <laughs> that didn't <laughs> at all. So that's that's why that, that idea was scrapped completely. So 
I'm like, I'll showcase other people's ideas. I'm, I'm good with that. I don't mind spreading the love. It's all good. Yeah, it's all about spreading the love, really. Yeah, I know. Okay. Although, I remember, although I remember that first, that first comment from that, from or that the very first comment I got on my very first post. I'm like, oh, somebody commented. Then I read the comment, and I was just like, oh, well, that wasn't my intention. All right then. <laughs> Let's fix that. <laughs> Have I written 25 posts already? I think so. I think I'm on 25. It's amazing how quickly it goes it'll be, by. It'll be the 25th article on December 25th. Aww. It's Christmas. Because this, this year, Christmas is this Friday. It's this Friday, guys. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hang on. Well, I mean, this, it, it, was, it was on a it Friday. Was, I mean, it, it was, was on a Friday. Friday. <laughs> yeah, because this yes, is close to... Yes, whatever you do, maybe edit that bit out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was Friday. No, that's staying it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what day is it today? <laughs> I have no Dang idea. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> oh, no. We're not being ahead. This will post on the last week of December. Yeah, so, so um, it, it was on a Friday. <laughs> so Christmas was S dot dot dot. <laughs> and New Year's is on a Friday. Oh dang it. Okay. Don't worry, guys. Number 26 will be New Year's, which means <laughs> it will be boozy. Yeah. All you kids out it's there, gonna be a lot of. Uh, it, it, it will be alcohol. Article. Lots of booze. As requested by a couple of people already, I, I promised it will be a boozy article. <laughs> I'm trying to remember when you asked me, and I honestly can't even remember. I think it was probably close to around the same time uh, Jamie started talking about writing stuff. Probably. And I just remember, like, I don't know what I want to write, and then just pitching a whole bunch of ideas, and you saying, that sounds good, and I'm going, okay, and that's just sort of what happened. It was all very organic. It was, it was easy. Didn't I think it would be easy. Like, I had, I had, like, a list of, of certain topics that I already knew that I wanted to be part of the thing, and then it was, like, kind of disgusting with with everyone just to see who was interested in doing what and like switching it up a bit so that y'all could add your own personal touch and like seeing who was available what day and but yeah it just it happened so quickly and it ha and like just like you said like it happened so organically that it just it just kind of all fell into place I mean it just it was meant to be mm -hmm. it was kismet it was and if, I feel like we we always were pretty close, but I feel like it definitely brought us even closer because we talk on pretty much a daily basis, and it feels really weird if I don't talk to you guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's yeah. true. Agree. Yep. Yeah. It's kind of weird, even though Rach and I are like <laughs> in the same city. <laughs> You're, you're like busy. cousins. I think you realize <laughs> you get busy and life kind of takes over and the blog is a way to keep me kind of grounded because I know it's there and mm -hmm. I have you guys literally in our message group at my fingertips so it's, it's, it's comforting. It's knowing that even though we're far apart, there's something that brings us together. Uh-oh. What are you all hopeful for for the blog? I'm hopeful for more followers, more um, our community to grow, and I just want to keep keep seeing it grow and seeing how much people love it and share it and enjoy it. That's my hope. We are getting a lot more people um, participating on Facebook, which is nice, like commenting and such. Mm -hmm. Our Facebook page is doing pretty good. Yeah, I just, I love the interaction with our readers. Um, going back on some of the posts that we've done and shared with the Nerd Machine and seeing people react to what you write is 
amazing. Like just, I mean, one of my articles like a while back, one of my favorite articles that I've written, someone wrote this beautiful reply and I just, it, it felt good that you made someone's day, you know? Yeah. We should also mention the other big thing that happened to our blog this year, becoming contributing writers for the Nerd Machine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you guys ever imagine that that would happen? I'm not no. gonna lie. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I kind. I, I think I kind of predicted it. I was hoping for it, but I thought it would be a couple of years down the line, and. Mm -hmm. I'm, gr I'm grateful to Foxy. I'm not sure if Foxy was the one that suggested it, but the simple fact that Dave was actually interested, I just remember almost shitting myself when I heard. And then, <laughs> not literally, guys, not literally, but, you know. <laughs> and then, you know, finding out that, like, Jams was going to get to talk to him, and then being super excited when she got to talk to him. It's just like, I just talked to Dave on the phone. That was pretty exciting. And Dave has been really awesome. Whenever I've had a question or a concern about something dealing with any of our posts or something that we weren't sure about, he's always been really good about responding and guiding me in the very beginning the first post that I did when he called me with some concerns and I had the same concerns actually and now it allows me to do the posting of our articles myself instead of relying on somebody else to do it and I think that just works out better for us right. and mm -hmm. I'm just grateful that they have given us this opportunity. Yeah. yeah, and that they just trust us enough in our in our ability to deliver good content for them. Yeah, that's a big deal. They definitely yeah, added I, to the confidence. Well, like I said, I kind of predicted it way before we even joined the blog, in a way. During when um, when we all met each other for the first time at Nerd HQ, and I remember just like walking along the concourse with Rage, and she's like, oh, I "Can't wait for next year." I was like, and she said, but what if, you know, one day, what if we ended up volunteering next year? I said, one way or the another, we're going to get involved with the nerd machine, one way or another. <laughs> I just didn't know it was going to be the year after. That I didn't know. But I, I did, I did predict you had it. The, you had the fields. I had the Jedi force with me. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Your spidey senses were tingling. My spidey senses were tingling. There you go. Yep. But um, yes, big shout out to like Shannon and Dave and everyone who was involved in getting us on board with that. Yeah. Because otherwise we wouldn't be here where we're at right now. I know. I definitely, I, I definitely needed that. And then when I had my little mini breakdown at the beginning, when I was like mm -hmm. overwhelmed. And we got mm. that tweet from uh, Nerdist Mom. Yeah. Oh my god. I freaked god. out. I freaked out, not gonna lie. <laughs> you have no idea, like, I cried so hard. So if y'all don't know already, we cry a lot. <laughs> yeah. Like, a lot, a lot. I think we need to invest in, like, Kleenex or something. We cry, we squee, and we use our fainting couch. Yep. Oh, the We're fainting very couch. emotional people. <laughs> it's the life of a fangirl so why don't we go through our different i want to call them columns as if we write a newspaper but <laughs> hey, it's segments? All good. we technically do, do. We call them oh, segments we, we call them columns i don't know i just i don't know what to call them because categories just sound really yeah sterile i think it's columns columns segments yeah. segments now, now I feel like we're in a news station. <laughs> <laughs> Segments. Segments. We got the nerd word, yo. We are we are hardcore journalists, guys. We're <laughs> journalists. Heck yeah, man. We journal every single week. <laughs> so why don't we start on Mondays, which is Ronnie's day. Uh-oh. Yay, <laughs> Ronnie! Maybe I should have looked back on mine because I totally didn't look back on mine. <laughs> Uh, go ahead, y'all. 
I remember one of the first ones that I read that you wrote. It was before I even got a chance to actually write anything. Um, it was about nerd culture. Mm -hmm. And one of the last things you wrote was... Well, it stuck with me for... For a while. And I knew I was getting myself into something good. Uh, you said, when you're feeling overwhelmed, take a step back. Take a deep breath. Think about the grand scheme of things and the things that really matter. Make time to simply wonder and wander. There are always more important things. What? <laughs> I know you wrote that. And I was Clearly like, she doesn't dude, remember I, this. <laughs> dude, like, I, I'm done. I, yep. Nothing's gonna top that. <laughs> Sometimes I have moments of inspiration that make me sound super smart. <laughs> <laughs> SMRT smart. And then I totally forget everything. <laughs> it happens. It's okay. It's totally, it you know, that's like, that's seriously how I got through school. Like, I would study and, like, ace my tests, and then the second I walked out the door, I'd forget it all. <laughs> it's a brain dump so that you can remember the next batch of stuff that you can easily forget afterwards. Yeah, but you would think I would remember. It's like, oh yeah, I did that, but you know, no, no. <laughs> and then you posted pictures of your of your babies. So. Oh, did I? Yes. Oh, so cute. My four children. For a second, I thought you said my four children, and I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Where are these illegitimate children hiding? <laughs> My fur children. <laughs> yes, I got that afterwards, and I was like, okay. oh, thank God. Okay, I heard something completely different. I heard my poor children. <laughs> <laughs> I heard four children. I was so confused. <laughs> well, sometimes they, you should feel sorry for my fur babies because I torture them with cuddles, but, you know. Love me, damn it, love me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's exactly how I am with my, with my dogs. <laughs> I do the same thing. <laughs> One of my favorite Ronnie posts was the Space City Con. You made me feel like I was there. Like I really wanted to Aww. be there with you. And you looked totes adorbs in your TARDIS hat. <laughs> I know, it was just so cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those were fun, and I really do, I, I do wish that you guys were there with me, because um, it's, it's always good to go to cons with like a bunch of people, and... I, I did go by myself, like, that whole weekend. Um, and it did prove to be quite a bit of work. And I know Jams, Jams know this, knows this because she did two herself. Mm -hmm. but yeah, it's just, it would be nice. Hopefully we, we can do another con together. San Diego! Yep. Fingers That's broke. what San Diego's for. I was going to say my favorite was, my favorite ones were when you did the, um, Clinical inspiration photos and pictures. Okay. Those are my favorite. Because they just perk you up. Because they just perk you up. I'm just like, uh, feels like the weekends extend a little bit longer to daydream and do whatever what, during my break. <laughs> that's what I was hoping that it would be, especially like, because like, I need a lot to get me going during the week. Mm -hmm. Mondays Almost. are exceptionally difficult for me. Yeah. And especially doing like design work, um, like you just, I get burned out a lot. So looking at more like creative things and art, artsy fartsy stuff is like super motivational to me. And I have like a, a handful of websites that I go to every morning uh, before I start working to just kind of kick my brain and kickstart it. So, um, I knew I wanted to, to do that kind of thing and like feature specific artists where I just found that they were like super interesting. And I wish I could do more of those because it's been a while since I've done one. But they're just, mm. it is really time consuming, just kind of like narrowing yeah, things sure. down. And not only narrowing things down, but have them kind of tie together. Because I don't like to have them be so random. Like I like them to kind of fit with each other a, a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. But I, I may have to just randomize them just so that it's easier for me to gather stuff because it, it is difficult kind of finding that tie from one piece to another. So I don't know. But hopefully I can get back to doing that. It's just it's just difficult to do that on, on a weekend because my brain's usually fried. I do have to say I do love doing the nerdy news though. 
Like, I look forward to doing that every week, even though it, it is very time-consuming. Um, and it's, like, a continuous thing. And it is always my luck that the studios decide to post really awesome news on Thursday when I have to post. So, <laughs> or they do it on Friday, and I'm like, <sighs> So, yeah. But it's so fun. I always look forward to seeing what kind of gif you're going to put at the top of your nerdy <laughs> news. They're always too. so cute. I was trying so hard to be able to do that myself on my articles, and I could never find, like, good enough gifts. And then I look at her, I look at Ronnie's um, articles for the week, and I'm like, where does she find these? And they're so perfect. I totally fall into the gif hole. Like, it is so easy <laughs> to fall into the gif hole. It is a dangerous vortex of time. It seriously is. And, like, my computer and my phone is completely chock full of GIFs now. And like, I need to delete some because I'm running out of space on my phone. And it's all because of the damn GIFs. <laughs> they're handy. They come in handy. Yeah. yeah, I think my favorite one so far is the one of Ten and the reindeer and the TARDIS. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just so good. From the BBC promo. Yes. I laugh every time I see it. Yeah. Well, it's just his face, too. Just I know. <laughs> I think I, I think my favorite one that I've used for the news is, is the one that, like, Jam's, like, messaged me. And she's like, this is freaking hilarious. It was Strax, like, <laughs> throwing the fur and hit Jen. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one and the gizmo one. That was so cute. Yeah, like, I love Gizmo. Um, but yeah, no, the Strax one was just appropriate because it's the newspaper and I was doing the news. It's like, and it's hitting you in the face, so. <laughs> Finding the perfect GIF is a skill. It's a skill. It's hard work, kids. It's, it's hard a work. skill. <laughs> Stay in school. <laughs> Technically speaking, it's supposed to be pronounced GIF. Oh, GIF. Yes. Jeff, the uh, the originator of the GIF, said that he was very upset. He, he wrote like this big like expose on how it's supposed to be pronounced GIF, and he's so mad that now everyone calls it a GIF or something like that. <laughs> well, it's and like then, uh, he should have. Um, yeah, he should have checked on the spelling and phonetics. <laughs> I think it's just a matter of, it's a little too late. Everyone's calling them GIFs. <laughs> I call them GIFs. You know, I think Hardwick and, and Wheaton still argue about that. The whole, you what? Wheaton? Will yeah. Wheaton? Wheaton. Who are you Will. talking about? The Will Wheaton. <laughs> um, yeah, they, they still argue about the gigawatt, gigawatt thing. They, they, they're always giving each other shit whenever he's on the podcast. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> How does one from... just slip that into conversation? It's them. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Their bromance is strong. It is, indeed. I wonder how their significant others feel about this. I think they're okay with it. <laughs> I think inside, they're like... <sighs> yeah. So, shall we go to... Um, Chill's Des, Which is Jamie Jam's Days. And I just wear pajamas all day because <laughs> I don't, but I wish I could. Yeah. And Jamie Jams has three different t types of articles because I have, like, major ADD when it comes to writing, and I can't just write the same thing every week, so I have to alternate or else I get bored. <laughs> I think that's good, though. This is a shit ton of content. Good grief. I was just looking through everything, and I was like, good lord, this woman writes a lot. <laughs> She does. Not only does she write so much, she posts all of our articles on the nerd machine. I don't know what accent this is. <laughs> it's a hoity one. Oh boy. Hang on, let me get my monocle. <laughs> I'm trying to do with Joel telling. <laughs> oh my god. When Joel does that, I, I giggle. You can't do it as well that. as he does. I can't do it at all. There's my monocle. <laughs> Can we just say, Joel is a freaking cartoon character, can we just say this? <laughs> yes, Hysterical. Karen is a Muppet, and Joel is cartoon. a cartoon character. Yes, yeah. for sure. Concur. A lovely one, but a cartoon character indeed. <laughs> yes. Um, He's so funny and witty and just smart. 
Yeah. We love you, Joel. Yeah, you are made of awesome. What were we talking about? Oh, yes. Jamie Jabs and her craziness and... Squirrel? <laughs> Squirrel. 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 Spaceship. Spaceship! Spaceship! Oh, my God. Spaceship! <laughs> There will be a lot of editing for jams. That's all I have to say. We're gonna have to find um gif gifs that represent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call that. I'm calling it that from now on. Gif gifs. <laughs> gif gifs. <laughs> We're gonna have to find gif gifs that represent each other. Oh, I like that. <laughs> oh my god, that would be a fun oh, post. No. Yeah. <laughs> So, Jams will be, um, the little squirrel dog. <laughs> <laughs> and so on and so forth. <laughs> okay. This is gonna be fun. Yeah. We have to find one for each of us? Yeah. Okay, Man. okay. Okay. Um, so then, by right? the end of it, we'll have, like, four, right? Or three from each other. Three from each other, yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, Done. We're getting things done for, for our viewers, listeners. Do we still have listeners? Oh, Lord. I think they all left. They like, went to in. bed. It's okay. Okay. My favorite Jamie Jams stuff is definitely her fashion stuff, because I am so inept in that department, so I need other people to tell me what looks good. And I loved her Nerds at Work uh, post. Because she went and found really cool, nerdy things. Small, nerdy accessories that you could wear with your business clothes and be all Clark Kenty and have, like, hidden nerdiness into your wardrobe. So that was cool. I felt like yeah. I really wanted to do that because a lot of places have a dress code that doesn't allow you to wear a lot of nerdy things. But if you could accent it somehow... Showcase your nerdiest nerdiness. Yeah, and that's the that's the goal too. At some point, is to hopefully create our own little accessories and stuff for folks at some point. But you know, one step at a time, people. One step at a time. So, um, mm -hmm. but yeah, that's what that's one of my favorites of yours too, Jims. And also, like the your nerdy jewelry post um, from fashion that one was also my favorite because i i do work in a corporate environment and most of the nerdy stuff out there is like super loud and super in your face and sometimes you just need a little hidden gem that it's really mostly just for you because you know that you're a nerd and you want to showcase it somehow and if it's something small where it's your own kind of quiet representation and no one else is gonna really know what it means. made a conversation starter and then you know you talk a little bit about you know your particular nerdy thing with with someone else who's curious or you never know maybe it'll you know the there's a nerd in your office or a nerd in uh you know one of your clients is a big nerd and then they notice it and they know exactly what it is that's happened to me many a time um, when people have seen, like, my phone case and stuff, like, oh my god, you like Dr. Who? It's like, yes! And then you bond over it, so... Accessories are important. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Making friends the nerdy way. Yep. Um, besides that, I really like the, um, childhood board games from, uh, Gamer Girl segment. Mm -hmm. Those were, those were really fun. Was that during Nostalgia Week? I actually really liked all yeah. of the stuff that we did for Nostalgia Week. Yeah, yeah. Christmas Nostalgia Week. Those were fun. It was fun to look up all the commercials for all of those games. It was like, oh wow, is this really what the commercials looked like for these? <laughs> yeah, the retro gaming commercials are, oh, they're so good. The production value alone. Yeah. <laughs> The, the songs, they're like earworms. They get embedded into your ears forever. <laughs> and then I also like, on the on your Crafter Noon posts, I like the, the DIY nerdy shoes. Which I'm actually looking at right now and the YouTube links aren't working anymore. So Aww. Have to those. That makes me sad. Yeah, that's what happens. Yeah, some of those shoes are fierce. Yeah, the iron shoes are crazy. Mm -hmm. Those were so much fun. 
Those were the little the little uh, cocktail swords, yeah. 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 Yeah, she has a lot of really cool, fierce shoes. And I love all of the cosplay stuff that that you've done too. The... Cosplay is always fun. I love it because sometimes I just need a a break from thinking. <laughs> so I find a particular cosplay subject and roam the web. And it's so amazing to see how talented some people are with their cosplay. Yeah, there's some really amazing stuff out there. How about you, Jen? What have you liked from James? <sighs> Can't help it, but I love the nerdy Christmas sweaters. <laughs> <laughs> Those were fun. It's just so awesome. I'm just like... I would totally wear that, and 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 that. And that. And just, like, yeah, I'll be doomed. I need, like, a huge walk-in closet if I were to own every single garment. <laughs> 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 but that was awesome. And, um, and the nerdy dresses they were amazing. More of a fashion person. Although, I do like my crafts, too, so, but so far, fashion's fashion. Oh, wait, no. The one that you just posted, the Christmas ornaments. Aww. Oh my god. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, there's yep. a future segment coming with another lovely lady, a lovely little lady, who happens we'll call to be... little lady. <laughs> who happens to be Jamie's clone. <laughs> uh, Essentially. Her mini-me. Her mini-me. Yeah. Um, and overloading me with cuteness. <laughs> Like, seriously, it's just... Yeah. Ah! <laughs> she's so adorable! She is adorable. And the two of you together is like... And she's on top of it, man. She, she is, like, she is totally a total YouTuber. Like, she watches YouTube nonstop, so she's got the mannerisms and all that down pat. <laughs> so, being on YouTube has been one of her dreams. And... That's we watch a lot of channels that do the toy reviews and things like that. I'm like, you know, we could do that. We could yeah. do nerdy reviews on toys and stuff. Why not? There's nerdy kids out there. Yeah. We used to be nerdy kids at one point. I totally picture James all of a sudden just being like, wait a minute, I have a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I will use this cuteness to my advantage. <laughs> Well, she's still cute. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna stay cute forever. That that little munchkin. <laughs> you see that now? You yeah. Wait till she. Now. Wait till she hits puberty. Uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but for now, she's adorable. <laughs> yeah, yep, I, so those, I those, like those, her. Those ones, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I had and a, your nerd wedding post. Yeah, I was just oh, gonna mention yeah. that. I had a lot of fun Inside writing that wedding. one because it it reminded me of how much fun I had making all of those things and coming up with the ideas and it was just it was so much fun and we did it on a shoestring budget. So Yeah, it was great to, to see all the details and stuff because it's like Rachel said earlier, like it really did make us feel like we were there and like wish even more so that we were actually there and and all of that. It, it was it was really nice to read. Because it was such it wasn't just like um like a DIY and a craft description. It was also very personal and I think those are the, the better ones when whenever we do them and that and they're super personal, I think they make them extra fun. I'm Maybe. nodding. <laughs> they can't see it. Nodding. Yeah, they can't hear you nodding. <laughs> oh shoot! It doesn't work that way. I also had a lot of fun with my the first nostalgia week that we did. Um, my gamer girl post that I did that week yeah. about all all of the video games that I enjoyed growing up. That was a lot of fun to go through each system that I had and remembering the games that I played on each one. It's like, oh man, I wish I still had all of these. Yeah. <laughs> it was a nice trip down memory lane for, for us to read too, because even yeah. though you might not have played the same games, you went through the same feeling of opening up a, a new game and playing it and just getting yourself totally immersed in it. So it was super fun. 
let's go to Wednesdays and just kind of touch briefly on that. We didn't we didn't necessarily want to pick favorites for those particular topics or segments because they're both very dear to our hearts and I've always felt like they are the heart of the blog and um, they focus basically on just the goodness in the nerd community and weeds out all of the elitism and douchebaggery that sometimes comes along with being a uh, purist nerd. So um, we like to shine light on all the positive stuff that's going on um, out there and showcase a lot of awesome nerds that you may not know but should know because they're awesome. They're fantastic. <laughs> they're amazing. Yeah, we've been blessed with the people that have come into our lives. For sure. For sure. Um, but Rach, do you have like any particular nerd at forward that really stands out to you? Um oh gosh. They've all been really, really special in their own ways. Um, I guess my most, in terms of writing, the one that I'm most proud of is the one about Nathan Fillion and his auctions, because getting to witness some of the most amazing people just pouring their hearts and money <laughs> to Operation Smile is the best part of Nerd HQ, I think. Um, so yeah, covering that was, was a lot of fun, and the people that show up to HQ to help Zach raise all this money is, is impressive, because they don't have to be there, and they volunteer their time to sit with their fans and answer all their questions and put some smiles on kids' faces, so yeah, I think that one's... It was one of the first ones that I wrote, so it was one of my favorites. I love that one, too. Mm -hmm. It is definitely one of one of my favorite segments, and I always look forward to it. Because it is kind of like, especially on a Wednesday, it's like right in the middle of the week, where things you're just getting your stride on your work week, and it kind of like starts a good, it starts the latter half of the week on a good note. It's just kind of like that pick-me-up in the middle, and then... Mm -hmm. yeah. And as far as Nerds R Us goes? Um, well, I think we're going to talk about all of the different interviews and stuff, right? Yeah. Later on? There's, oh gosh. Maybe we should do that last. Yeah. Yeah, we Wednesday can do that last. Wednesday's a big day. Yeah. Wednesday's, I, like, like you said, it's, it's what makes our blog different. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's so much negativity on on the internet that it's just little corner of, of happy yeah at least hopefully other people think so <laughs> <laughs> it's m at least my corner of happy <laughs> yeah exactly it's our corner of happy if y'all happen to think it's happy too great if not oh well <laughs> Grinch, yeah, cause when, I, <laughs> yeah, when i first when i first pitched the idea i wasn't sure exactly what i wanted to do with both Nerd It Forward and Nerds Are Us. Nerd It Forward came about from the I Want My Nerd HQ campaign. Mm -hmm. um, and the, I think that was the first one that I ever wrote about how people were donating towards the cause for other nerds who couldn't afford to. And I thought that was the most selfless and amazing thing about the nerd community is that we're taking it a step further and wanting to help every in any way we can, but also helping when other people can't help, so. Right. It's a beautiful thing. Let's go ahead and touch on Thursday then, and then we can double back on Nerds R Us. Sounds so, good. Besides nerdy news, we have Rachel's um, TNT um, lists, and kaboom. Yes. I love TNT. <laughs> yes. Kaboom. Um, my favorites are the Tangled Edition. And rightly so, because we're... Oh, no, wait a minute. That's Nerdy Fridays. Sorry. <laughs> I thought you were doing 
Tangled one, though. Um, the literary... I haven't done a Tangled one yet. I'm going to, though. You should. You <laughs> should yeah. do a Tangled one. We should have a Tangled week. to find the right... <gasps> oh, yes, please. <laughs> oh, when is the anniversary again? I forget. We need to do that oh. for next year. Mm-hmm. Should do a Tangled yeah. anniversary week? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm down for that. We're going to have to do something for Zach's birthday, too. Maybe we should do, like, a Zach week or something. Mm-hmm. All the okay. stuff that he does, he's done. Um, he has done lots. Well, we have has done Friday lots. Thing. Oh, too true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna, gonna make some Zach the crafts. Of Zach's face. <laughs> <laughs> it <laughs> could just very well be me baking a whole bunch of Roy cookies. Who knows? But... Hey, that works. That <laughs> totally works. Looking for crafts for Zach <laughs> week would be hard, hard too. If we're doing specific people. <laughs> Jamie's gonna find like paper dolls of Zach. Look, <laughs> it's, it's like a cross stitch of Zach's face. <laughs> Zach eating cake. That's foodie. He's eating cake, people. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm so glad this is not going on the nerve machine. <laughs> <laughs> You never know what going to end up doing. Maybe he'll secretly listen to this anyway. <laughs> oh. oh, Lord. <laughs> well, he does, apparently, remember, he does read everything. I want to sex yeah. you up. That's it. <laughs> I'll talk about it right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my favorite Rachel posts are the um, literary quotes edition. Because I'm a big book, big nerd. Grief, I can't even use words. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, I haven't been able to read as much as I would like, which is unfortunate. But I'm always a big fan of, um, the appreciation of just specific things that authors write, and um, shedding light on that. And I like the way um, Rach kind of laid it out um, with a almost like Instagram style um, with the words overlaid on um, images. And of course, she's responsible and credited all of the images, which is great. But um, she picked a good collection of quotes. And I love those. They're motivational to me. And a second favorite is the uh, nerdy Christmas tree edition. Those are so awesome, and I wish I could do that to my tree. Me too. It's so much work. There's so many talented people out there. Yeah, seriously. My- oh my god, I just saw the tenant gif again. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good! <laughs> Can't get enough of that. Oh, oh my face. It's that oh. face, exactly. It's the face. It I know. totally the face. My favorites have been all of the ones that have had something to do with music. Those are always my favorite. Yeah, I'm a big I'm a big music nerd. So my first one, the Broadway a cappella one, that was the reason why I started with that was someone once told me, "Write what you know." And I'm like, "This is what I know." And it was fun. <laughs> and I love musicals, so All right. My favorite um, Magic School Bus, only because it's, like, my favorite show of all time. Oh, Maybe, maybe almost as the same level as Sailor Moon. And, um, and then, uh, it'd be the, oh, what was it? <sighs> nerdy, what was it? Nerdy Music? And the only reason why, I don't, I don't know if it was, like, after your Broadway one or before your Broadway one, Rach. But not many people know this, but I had a hand in helping on making that playlist, so. Um, Just, it would have to be after the Broadway one, because that was my very first one. Then it would be the one after the Broadway one. Oh, yeah, it was, like, the, the nerdy music videos. Mm-hmm. The nerdy music videos, that's the one. Oh, the nerdy yeah. music videos, right, right, right. Yeah. yeah, that was a bit of a collaboration. Yeah, that was good. Nobody knows that about that. That was a fun one. But yes. And I love the, the, the collab that we had to raise. Yeah, the Doctor Who one. That was super fun. We have to do another collaboration one. Yeah, we do. I'm all about the score stuff, so if you ever want to do another score stuff, just let me know. Especially if we have another theme week. Yeah, we 
should do John Williams. Mm. We should. That's a good idea, actually. We need to keep a track of all these great ideas, guys. <laughs> I, I had a spreadsheet somewhere at one point. So many great ideas. Um, no, yeah. no, seriously. I had. I remember before I even joined, I had a spreadsheet for you guys that kept... Yeah, I don't know where all that is. All your ideas somewhere. It's it's somewhere on my computer. It's I'll probably find on it Asana again. somewhere. No, I, I don't think I've ever posted it on Asana. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, no, did. It's somewhere it's somewhere on my computer. I'll In case anyone is wondering how we keep track of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we start off with a spreadsheet and then it never gets onto the spreadsheet after a couple weeks. <laughs> well if you upload it to our drives. Then that's we can all edit it. it together. Just upload yeah, that's how to we do it to your Curious Drive. We'll have to find it first. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I'd have to find it. <laughs> oh, when, if we go back to our first Nostalgia Week, I did a... Like, when Jamie did her... Um, her childhood games on different uh, consoles, I did a Nostalgic Adventure game. Yes. TNT. And that was super fun. And getting comments back about other people remembering playing the games was super fun too. Actually, God, I love Full Throttle. <laughs> <laughs> After um, so, looking so back at our original schedule, we kind of hit most of our ideas that we were posting <laughs> on. We did. did okay, we? Can you ready? We? Yeah. yeah. Can you ready for this? Ready for this? Okay. So NC Q&A, we did that. And see Ella picking favorites slash round table. We started on that one for Star Wars. And then the Nerdy Curious HQ Con looking ahead panels. I, mm, well, we kind of touched it on this one where we're what we're looking forward to, I guess. I a did way. a TNT on which which uh, panels we were going to look forward to for this. Yeah, for right. This yeah, yeah, yeah. One. So, so we've hit that one. Um, merchandise for young nerdy girls. I think Jams, you did that. A prat prat homage. I don't know if we did that yeah, one. Yeah, I did that did one. We? Yeah. we did that. Fan yeah. art segment. Uh huh. Will Wheaton homage. We did that. Nerdy fashion was another idea we had. And yeah, the yeah. only one we have yet to do that we have, e well, don't spoil it. Yes. Yes. Uh, spoil baby. alert. No, 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 no. No, no, it kind of ties in a little bit with um, when Ronnie did her Nerd Ventures post. It was oh, okay. nerdy restaurants around the world. So that kind of ties it in a bit. Yeah. And then... Um, no retail stuff. Don't talk about retail stuff. <laughs> Nerd HQ Periscope, mm -hmm. which you sort of-ish did. It was hard to get any good internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was there was that. And then... Um, Although we 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 kind of started off with this, but didn't really stick with it, was an homage to a person we were inspired by once a week. Possibly once a week we were going to post. Ronnie's done a couple. Of we I did, did a couple of, yeah, yeah. of Robin Williams. Um, yeah, no, we did a couple, so yeah, but did, I've. We did. Touch it, I mean, like it's it's we touched on it. Yeah. And then um, yeah. nerdy themed parties, which I guess you could kind of say it tied in with booty fridays because essentially right because i i um all yeah. my articles i post everything like you can it's 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 if you can throw yourself a theme party essentially yeah. if you really wanted to it touched on yours and it also touched on the crafts stuff yeah and the crafts as well exactly. yeah i did i did the my little pony party yeah mm -hmm. and then there's the one that i don't know if um we ever did this one might not but it was an idea um a tnt nerdy bookends oh i don't know i don't know if we've done that one i don't, I don't know think if we've done it one. yet i feel so like, that that and that was all I of still, our ideas i still feel like Under jamie did some there was there was a book end in one of her posts i feel like i saw something it might have prompted me probably. to do that I think I might have done I some in during literary week. Yeah, there you go. Yes, there. I remember seeing them somewhere, and I was like, oh, that would be really fun to do a... Like, like, like seriously, guys, I... 
we've hit literally for the most part every single idea that we've had so far had so far well <laughs> so far being um what we've written down <laughs> what you've written down since june and june <laughs> wow. wow july you haven't updated that since then no, we haven't updated anything since july you since after con go us <laughs> since hq <laughs> we're not the most organized obviously <laughs> and yet we still managed to spit out 250 plus posts yeah, that's <laughs> impressive so um yeah guys <laughs> That's how we do things. Well, it helps here. that we kind of do a like a little powwow on a weekly basis to see where we're at and what right. ideas we where might we have. Want to go. If any yeah. of us feel stuck, we try to help each other out with ideas, which is awesome because I feel mentally stuck a lot. Same here, but it's okay. It's all good. That's why I like our themed weeks because it helps. It really does. It does. <laughs> keep things on topic. When I am assigned a topic, it is so much easier for me to write about it. Mm-hmm. There's just endless possibilities out there. Yeah, it just it gets overwhelming when you have the entire ocean to play in. It's better to just have the pool. So on to Fridays, we have a uh, nerdy foodie. And I know we also have, like, we've had a couple of um, guest writer posts from Karen on movie stuff. Um, but she's only been able to do three for us, and um, hopefully she's she's able to do some more. But that's, that was honestly, like, just one of my indulgences, because I've, I always wanted to include um, a segment for um, classic movies, because I'm a dork about them, and I knew that she's a kismet spirit on that front, and I just didn't have time to do another, another segment, so um, I wanted to bring her on. And her tastes are very similar to mine, so I knew that I would pretty much agree with anything that she would say. Um, and I always love her opinion because she's very opinionated. So I'm really hoping to get her back on um, every now and then whenever she's able, but I know she's super busy. Um, but on to Nerdy Foodie. Um, my favorite Jen's posts have been um, our San Diego Bound where she went through all of our food stuff from when we went to HQ. And I'm like, essentially, yeah, yeah. sorry mm -hmm. to interrupt, but no, essentially, like, telling people to stop and not eat their food. <laughs> <to> <laughs> like the photo. I was hungry the entire time I was in San Diego, <laughs> and she kept I saying, don't eat. <laughs> I apologize for all the hunger pains in our nerd family. But, you know, you kind of were helping me out with my posts. Just saying. Yeah. They understood. Everyone was super nice about it. <laughs> yeah. And Hiddle Cakes were born from breakfast. Hiddle Cakes! Hiddle cakes. cakes! I'm totally looking back on this post, too, and I'm, like, getting so super hungry because I haven't had dinner yet. But everything looks really good. <laughs> I want to go back to the mission. I love that place. Yeah. That's Seriously, our nerds. HQ. The, mission? the most magical breakfast place ever. And that barbecue food truck was my favorite. Oh, mm -hmm. so good. Mm-hmm. Great. I had no yeah, problem being there every day. <laughs> Janine and I found the mission through our Airbnb hostess, the first Nerd HQ. She recommended that that would be the best place to go for breakfast. And it was yep. pretty much walking distance from our Airbnb. And so... And like really, the best really decision great. we ever made. Yeah, I know. We went <laughs> We went on the first day of HQ, we went on the last day flying home, so it is mm -hmm. a it's a lovely place. And Jane and I joined y'all when y'all went. Yeah. yeah. So Our fun. first breakfast together. Yeah. It was a maze balls. And my second favorite nerdy foodie is um the one I mistakenly thought was Rachel's is the Tangle edition. Um, and again, because we're all obsessed with Tangled, because Tangled is better than Frozen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's even a freaking cocktail in it. Yep. Um, I think that's when I started to get a little bit boozy. I look forward to your cocktails. <laughs> she got drunker as the year progressed. <laughs> Just more, like, New Year's more, Eve, more drunk. New Year's Eve, 
Bye. It's just gonna be all booze. <laughs> wall to wall. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll be. A, it, it, there, I'll try to find a, you know, make it kid section, and then the rest will be adult section. You'll need to have some snacks to go with all that booze. <laughs> nah, just booze it up. <laughs> There's probably more on booze than there is food for you. <laughs> booze, booze, and and cake. I'm a big cake person. So anything, anytime Janine did anything about cake, I'm there. I like how uh, how someone did the tangled Jello boats, and they're like, "Isn't that so smart? Huh? It's so ingenious. It really <laughs> so is. Simple. It's so, so simple. simple. Yeah." yeah. But I also love how you ended it, because you ended it with, um, you're never too old to dream. I think that was my favorite. Yeah. My favorite ending. I was just like, yeah. No one's ever too old to dream. You can always have a dream. Yeah, yeah those are my favorite. My two favorite gen posts are Zombie <laughs> Week, which is funny because you don't <laughs> like zombies, and Pancakes, because... I love pancakes so much, and you <laughs> topped it off with that picture of the Hiddle Cakes, and <laughs> I had to throw it in there. The representation of the eggs. Hiddle Cakes. It, it was it was our own version of Hiddle Cakes. Yep. yep. From the from from when we were at HQ, it, that people people might not know about that, but yes. <laughs> It Hashtag. comes up from often enough, I'm sure they already know. <laughs> Hashtag yeah. fiddle cakes. They were yeah, the best tasting some... pancakes I ever had, I'm just saying. Um. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> the, um. Help, we have fallen into the gutter, we can't get out. I know, seriously. But, but I'm talking about pancakes, guys, seriously. I don't know where y'all are at. <laughs> in the gutter. No, you guys are in the sewer, seriously. <laughs> yeah, we there. I'm still on the street. Ninja Turtles. Yeah, we, we, we keep the turtles company. There's pizza down here. Yeah. <laughs> um, the Halloween posts were the most fun because of how difficult they were for Jen. Because you, the, the constant questions are like, I don't think this is scary enough. Or, this is way too creepy. Or, you know, like, just sending her stuff that's, like, really creepy food and being like, sorry, Jen, every time we would send something. <laughs> it was just a lot of apologizing. Like, that entire month of October was just, sorry. It was horrible, okay? It was horrible. I'm, I'm looking for next year. I'm looking forward to Halloween. Oh, yeah, God. For sure. No. Well, you know, Jams and I live for Halloween, so it's all, mm -hmm. it's all about Halloween for us. So. I know, okay. this is why I live for Christmas, people. <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> I would just totally love to bypass Halloween altogether. But yeah. it's so it's so funny, like, the same thing, um, you have such a hard time connecting with Halloween, but we all loved your Halloween posts so much. You guys <laughs> love my fashion posts, and those are the hardest for me to write. Some weeks I don't feel any inspiration when it comes to the fashion, and I, j I appreciate that you guys like them so much. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, I, I do love the fashion stuff, and, and I, every now and then when I do have time, I like to dip my toe in a little bit. I did, I did that little Once Upon a Time costume post one, where I, I took um, couture fashion dresses and um, put them next to... Um, characters from Once Upon a Time. That was so much fun, and I wish I had more time to do stuff like that, but I don't. But yeah, it's a fun segment to play with the clothes. Dress up! Dress up. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't read Janine's posts on an empty stomach. It just ends really badly. I know! <laughs> it's a problem! I started having, like, stomach pains when, when, I, when I was just looking <laughs> at pictures. Like, what the hell? <laughs> So, so should we change the time then to hit around noon? <laughs> lunch time. Lunch it's like, time. I don't have time to make a nerdy wedding cake and eat the whole thing. That just doesn't sound <laughs> practical. It, it's kind of a good time when it posts because it's, like, 11.30 is, is, like, it's good lunchtime time for Central, and then it's, like, right in the middle of lunchtime for East Coast. So it's, like, 12.30. But it's, like, 9.30 yeah, like, in the morning <laughs> Pacific. <laughs> Oh, hey, cake in the morning, that is, like, my thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. I want to okay, see you do a, 
I want to see you okay. do a nerdy pie post <gasps> for Pie Day. Pie Day. <laughs> we need to do, um. Because um, I love pie. Someone uh, write this down. Uh, pie Day. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll add it to my sticky. My oh, virtual notes. Yeah, and, and Justin said he wanted to, to talk about pies next time we had pie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we did talk. We March. did talk about pie with him, didn't we? We did. did talk about pie. There's a segment on pie. We need to do a segment on pie. Exactly. Mm -hmm. There's a pie bar in Seattle, and everyone should go to it. It is amazing. They have pie, pie inspired cocktails, and they have amazing in house baked pie. It's it's good. And now I'm craving pie. Pie. Yeah, uh, now I'm starving. Oh, no, I'm starving too. Um, okay, let, let's touch on um, on uh, Nerds Are Us. And, like, in, initially when we had the, the Nerds Are Us powwow was, um, I was, I was wanting it to be a little bit more like People of New York, where it was just like a brief glimpse and it was more written than what it turned out to be and <laughs> and i'm not entirely sure what it is yet <laughs> <laughs> it's our non-podcast podcast, podcast. Da, 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 da. Um, but uh jams was the first one to get an interview mm -hmm. and she can talk a little bit about that and what happened well I, I remember we had talked about wanting to do interviews for a while, but we hadn't scheduled anybody yet, and I had the idea to interview my friend Nick Dubé, who was our first one. Um, and I said, okay, we'll set up a Skype interview, and I'll just transcribe it. And after interviewing him, like, his answers were very long, which I appreciated because it gave me insight into his thoughts and feelings on things. But as I began transcribing, it was like, oh, damn, the answer to the first question is a page long. <laughs> I can't do this. So, I love Jess in her monologue of what's happening. <laughs> and the more I listened to it, about this whole thing. I was like, well, maybe we should just keep it audio. And that's when I presented it to you guys in my frazzled state of, holy crap, what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> and I was so grateful. Like, oh my god. I was so <laughs> grateful that you guys liked the idea. <laughs> Well, because I started thinking about it, too, where it's just like, well, damn, yeah, if someone gives you, like, a page-long answer, like, no one's going to read that. Like, no one's going to sit there and, and, and read through everything. And it's also unfortunate to, like, have to edit someone's answer to just, you know, one or two sentences, because it's, it's, you just don't get the whole thing. So, so yeah, it, it ended up just, one, to keep you sane... <laughs> Insanity is overrated, just so you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, and granted, it's it's still extra work for Jamie because she's our she's our editing guru because I know nothing about that. <laughs> and um, I remember like I tried the dead end. end. I was like, I hear, <laughs> <laughs> like I can't figure this out. Um. But yeah, so, so, yeah, but I, I still think that that's probably less work than if you had had to have, you know, sat there and, like, typed everything out. And, oh, definitely. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, props to Jamie, because she does this for us yeah. every week. I did it one week, and I it literally killed me. Actually, it figuratively <laughs> killed me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... Still I resurrected myself from the dead. Everything is fine. I was so grateful that you helped me out with that one because I felt so defeated. I was like, they're gonna be so mad at me because I can't do it right. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> yeah, see, everyone thinks we write this blog for the sake of writing a blog. No, it's therapy for us. 
Yeah. No. Yeah. Little do they know. <laughs> We're just revealing all the secrets. Who was okay, our... Jazz can edit it. Um, our second Nerds Are Us was Literary Week with uh, Kristen. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, my good friend Kristen. I went to high school with her, and I've always been a fan of her writing. I still am. Even just her Facebook posts, I, I love reading her thoughts. She's just so witty. She really is. If you haven't noticed, um, the first couple of Nerds Are Us, they're all just really good friends of ours, because we're going to go through our entire list of friends and exhaust all of them <laughs> before, we, <laughs> before we go and spread our wings and... Spread our rings. Spread rings. our wings. <laughs> Jeez. Mm, I can't speak. Um, this is why I don't do any of the speaking. Well, we're in the we're in the process of, of spreading our wings, but um, we still want to. We still wings. Have a lot of, uh, wings. <laughs> we have a lot of awesome people that are close to us that we still think should be kind of brought to the into like the forefront, into the light. So to speak. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have really good friends that don't mind us asking. That don't mind us asking them really weird questions. Yeah. Yeah, it's a wonder how they tolerate us. <laughs> yeah, I sometimes wonder too. Oh, they indulge us, it's great. It's too late for them, they're our friends. That will suck, so. True. They're stuck with us. Yeah. Um, speaking of friends, our third Nerds Are Us is with the lovely Laura. Laura. Uh, yeah, Laura. Our, our awesome nerd teacher. Yeah. When it right, um, yeah, no, I, I loved that particular um, interview just because of how passionate she is on teaching, and mm -hmm. um, it it really did make me think about all the teachers that impacted me, and I'm happy to see that there's people like her that are you know so caring about things and 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 methodically doing things with a purpose like not necessarily like well I'm a teacher and I'm following the textbook like she finds a way to integrate her nerdy passions which I'm sure makes it really interesting for the kids mm -hmm. good stuff um episode four is with the lovely Sandrine who we got a chance to be interviewed by at um at comic-con yeah. And honestly, right now is the one and only video interview we've ever done. <laughs> I think there's a reason for that. Yeah. But we were so tired. It was like 2 in the morning. Yeah. We were looking our best. I we, mean... Yeah, we were looking our best. We had and been I traveling. Had, and I think it was the first night, too. Yeah, yeah it was the first we had, night. We had traveled all day. and It was a travel day, yeah. Yeah. We're exhausted. I'm surprised it even made sense. I don't think I can go back and look at that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I only watched it once, and I'm just like, yeah, no. <laughs> I was. I think I was nervous for the fact that, that she is very good at what she does. She knows how to ask interesting questions. She knows how to engage the people that she's interviewing. It was. It was awesome to see her at work because she. She's really, really, really good at. Yeah, being in a great interviewer. Yeah. And um, she's she even though it's a little bit more formal the way that she does things, um, she still has and it, this is just Sandrine like she makes everyone feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that definitely makes her special. And and she was definitely an inspiration as far as like how. We started um, our questionnaire because I know when we started our questionnaire, it was like it, it leaned towards a little bit of like silly, nerdy questions. But we have a lot of like pretty thoughtful, deep questions in there too that are like Sandrine esque. But um, and I, and when we first started Nerds R Us, and I think Rachel brought this up in our last conversation together where we started off like really structured and really formal with the intro at the very beginning and like tried to keep everything like super serious and organized but we're not those people no <laughs> no no so we just let it fly <laughs> nice and curve on that 
Yeah. And our it's actually ten minutes in, so <laughs> it's actually really nice listening back on how much we've grown in terms of our non podcast podcast non podcast. <laughs> um because we were you can you can hear that we are trying to figure out what we want to do with right. with our show. I'll call it a show. It's a show. It's entertainment. <laughs> uh, at our expense. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel I feel a lot more comfortable with talking. Yeah. Which I did not in our early days. I still like, get nervous, honestly. Mm-hmm. I still get nervous just before. And the butterflies. The butterflies, yeah, where I'm like, yeah. I'm going to make an ass out of myself again today. But I just kind of embraced it. <laughs> and we have a lovely editor who makes us sound makes better. Sound, yeah, who makes us sound semi-intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard sometimes when I'm listening to things. <laughs> I'm like, maybe... Mm, delete. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Apolo- apologies for every time that you sat there and <laughs> sound intelligent. <laughs> it, it is fun oh, no. to edit, though. I'll I'll be sitting here with my headphones on, listening, and there are just parts where I'll just start laughing out loud while Rich is playing his video game. Like you just you just don't understand. <laughs> this is right here. Is there, is there like an intelligence filter that you can put over? No? No such thing? But Dark. they're fun, and that's what matters. I, yeah. I have to say I really love this segment because we have interviewed some awesome people and had some great conversations with them. And even people that are our friends, I feel like we've gotten to know them better from this segment. Yeah. I actually love them more. Yeah. After listening to them talk about random things. So Speaking of awesome that? people. Yeah. Um, we interviewed the lovely Shannon Fox. What Ms. Foxy. Foxy. Yeah. This one was one of my favorites. I think I just sat and laughed <laughs> the entire time we talked to her. She burst the uh, quacking. Quack. The quacking, yes. Quack. Yeah. There's gonna be some quacking in this one too. No, no, we decided we're just gonna um, not worry about swearing anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna miss you, Duck. Rest in peace. I'll I'll stick him in there every now and then just for nostalgia purposes. But sometimes <laughs> sometimes it's funnier with the swearing. <laughs> After our Star Wars chat last the- night. <laughs> you should do the thing that Jimmy Kimmel does, where he, like, censors things that don't mean to be censored. <laughs> <laughs> what the duck? <laughs> what the duck? Are you ducking? Kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, too good. Yeah, that was a, that was definitely a, a, a fun, a fun interview with her. What was her favorite made-up word? Smoosh. Remember. Smoosh. What? Was it meh? Smoosh. Oh, meh? Smoosh. Smoosh. Oh, smoosh, right. Smoosh. Oh my smoosh. gosh. How That's did I word. forget that? That's her word. That's her word. Smoosh. <laughs> smooshed herself. Yeah, I smooshed my face. Um, that was wrong. <laughs> oh dear. Jamie quacked. Quack. <laughs> Quack. Um... Uh, the Vermont Comic Con artists. Ah, oh. yes. I had fun with that. Um, I wish that I could have done a little bit more in depth interview with the artists, but it was so busy and hectic, and I didn't want to take them away from time at their tables when they could be selling art. And I knew I was gonna. I was gonna interview them at the end of the day and try to do a round table discussion, but I said. At the end of the day, they're probably going to be tired, and we didn't end up staying all day anyway, so it just kind of worked into a little mini-interview segment with as many of the artists as I could find free time with, <laughs> which which turned out to be Michael Wagner, Gregory Giordano, and Robert Brunel. 
and I had it was fun even though I asked them all the same questions it was fun to get um, their different perspectives yeah I have no artistic ability whatsoever so when people do just amazing things just with paper and a pen and I'm just like oh, how where does this come from uh, lucky number seven was with the gentleman of nerd foo Oh, oh nerd foo <sighs> Yeah. They were so we much love the fun. Food. They were so much we fun. We need to have them back on. Yes, we need to have them back Should, on again. Sure, sure. And I'm hoping they, they like... are adorable. They're like a lovely married couple. They really are. <laughs> it's um... guy love. <laughs> <laughs> the, um... <laughs> Although, by the way, that is an excellent song, I might add. <laughs> it is a very good song. <laughs> Song. They're waiting to see if they if they get their press badges for New Orleans Wizard World. Um, and if they, if they do, um, then they're definitely going. And then hopefully we'll do our um, nerdy road trip. But so fingers crossed that they get their press badges. Yeah, they're they're super fun guys, and I I love listening to their podcast. They're definitely way more organized than we are. <laughs> yeah, clearly. <laughs> but, um, uh, you know they've they've been doing it for a while and they they've got their their segments down for all of their conversation talking points. It's okay. We'll get there one day. One day. Well, we don't have to do it so quite so segmented. Like I kind of think that we're just a free flowing organic conversation. Plus, because they 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 basically do nerdy news on their podcast, mm -hmm. so they mm -hmm. cover all of the you know all of the topics all at once. So it's, it, it, it lends itself, what they talk about lends itself to a more structured um, system. And ours is, is a more personal convo. I like that, though. I like yeah. that. What was next, Reach? Um, episode 8 was with Beth and her cre creeptastic awesome dolls. Yes. They were awesome. Super yeah, cool. I avoid that one like the plague. <laughs> <laughs> No offense to Beth, but it's you know, no offense. You can't do it. No, <laughs> no offense. It, it it just went way above my creepiness factor. Meter. <laughs> level of creepiness. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Jams, how did you um, get in touch with Beth? Um. Well, when I went to Vermont Comic Con, I had gone. I was on the first floor, and I was talking to Matt Sylvester who is actually friends with Beth, and he asked if I had gone up to check out her booth yet, and he described her work to me, and I was like, wow, that is right up my alley. That is exactly what I love, is the creepy and strange. So later on, when I had a chance to explore the second floor, I found her table, and I was just in love with her work. So I handed her one of our cards and I asked her if she would like to be interviewed sometime and she said that she would love that so that was born I really like her is it Dr. Scott? yes he's one of my favorites it's adorable yeah she said all of the ones with the bird skulls are the most popular gosh there's so many talented people out there mm -hmm. um nerds are us episode 9 was with uh, Matt Sylvester He's so cool. He is cool. He is He's so a nice. Cool dude. Okay, He's even so though you know my non-love affair with zombies, uh -huh. I actually enjoyed that one. It was yeah, a good interview. We um, we look pretty good as zombies, actually. Yeah, I think so too. I had yeah. seen him do, um, he, he did a zombified portrait of himself and a few other people, and the idea just kind of hit me. I was like, oh my god, he needs to do zombies of us. <laughs> so, and he's, nice. and he's done a lot of other non-zombie stuff too, but I really enjoy his horror work the best, I think. He did it was a lot really of sweet to hear him also talk about, um... Like how he was follow he he took he took a look at the blog and he really appreciated everything that we were doing and that he loved Jen's uh, foodie stuff and he was the one that requested more boozy things. So he was one of the other people who did request more boozy things. <laughs> yeah, I loved when he talked about his family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah. It's really sweet. I love nerd dads. There's something about nerd dads and their daughters. Mm -hmm. It's just adorable. I don't know what it is. It is. It's like with Rich and Ayla. It's just like, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so cute! Um, episode 10 was with uh, Dave Solo and Walker Nation. Oh. That was fun. He's so much fun. He's a, he's definitely, like, I felt like he was one of our, like, kindred spirits. He had, he had a, a nice humor that melded well with ours, and he was, like, pretty much game for anything, and the way he answered, um, crew Mary Kill were so much fun. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> and I, I still, I need to check to see if he's implemented that on his, uh, podcast, because I haven't gotten a chance to listen to an episode lately, but, um, that, that'd be fun to, to see if, if he got a chance to, to adopt that or not. Because that, that's a fun, that's a fun question for that particular show. Yeah. Episode 11 was with Stephanie. I freaking love her. I have such a girl crush on her. It's a problem. Not only is she extremely talented, yeah. she is super pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's dropped it gorgeous, and she's super talented, and super mm -hmm. smart, and motivational, and, and like sweet. Everything. And just everything. <laughs> she's everything. It's a freaking package, man. It's not right. <laughs> <laughs> God was super you, happy. <laughs> God was yeah. having a good day. Yeah, he was having a good day. Just like when he met Matt, when he made Matt Bomer, he was having <laughs> a good day when he made Stephanie Arwine. There you go. But yeah, no, she's super talented. Um, I want to always buy all her art, but of course I'm poor, so I could never pay what they're worth. Um... Which I've actually, I've never asked her, so I have no idea how much they're, they're, like, she actually charges. So, check with Stephanie. It may be affordable. <laughs> <laughs> I love know. how she paints eyes. You can see the soul of the person in yeah. every portrait that she, that she puts together. It's, it's incredible. Those, those things, I'm telling you, those paintings are, mm. there, there's no price tag that does, that would do it justice. Like, they look like they're worth thousands of dollars. So, mm -hmm. if you can't afford a painting from Stephanie, if she's charging less than a thousand dollars, I'm sure she is, get them, because one day they're going to be worth millions. I'm just saying. We, we it predict out. big things in the future for her. Yes. Mm -hmm. All the good vibes for Stephanie and her. Art. Episode 12 was with Johnny. Mm -hmm. He was a lot of fun. Like, I didn't really know him very well before the interview, and when we started talking, the more we talked, the more I realized we had in common. It was like, I felt like we were kindred spirits. It was so funny. Like, you know that feeling you get when you meet a nerd that likes all the same things you do, and you're like, oh my god, where have you been all my life? Mm-hmm. I felt that way when I was interviewing him, and I was like, oh, I wish the girls were here for this one, too. <laughs> so I could share you with them. Well, we're going to have him and um, Michael. Yeah. We're going to have the both of them on again, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes life happens, and we all can't be on on the show. And those are, those are sad days for me, because it's super fun when we're all yeah. together and chatting with awesome nerds. Mm -hmm. Um, episode 13 was with Michelle, and story time with Michelle has been born. <laughs> Our lovely really mermaid friend. Michelle. Her stories were fantastic. Mm -hmm. Agreed. I think as we interviewed more and more people, my cheeks started hurting more and more after <laughs> each one. I'm pretty sure my cheeks we're getting a workout once a week. <laughs> <laughs> Just all the laughing and the hysterics. Yep. And they've gotten. Needs Jen to be more specific. She's talking about her face. Her face cheeks. My face. My face cheeks. My face cheeks. <laughs> See, clearly, I'm still on the street, and y'all are still in the gutter. <laughs> Mission accomplished. I just wanted Rachel to lose. <laughs> oh, 
and she's gone. <laughs> <laughs> There's like two levels of gutter. <laughs> it's like yeah, there's the gutter, the and then there's the sewer. <laughs> the sewer. We're, we're way yeah. past the sewer now. It's just... It's the like center a, of the earth now, guys. Center of the earth. It's like the seven circles of hell. <laughs> <laughs> we're just spiraling down it, man. I know, right? And then episode 14 was with uh, Chris Cruz. Oh. oh my god, I love oh. him. I completely lost it. My, I agree with Jen, my cheeks were hurting like crazy. Right? <laughs> right? Insanity. He's out of control. I felt like I got an ab workout that night. Yeah. <laughs> we have laughter abs. It's a thing. It's a thing. Yeah. We don't, we don't need workouts, it's, we just need to laugh a lot. It's, it's the laughing abs workout. That's how nerdy <laughs> abs workout. work it. Yeah. By laughing yeah. at ourselves yeah. and at our friends. <laughs> and their weirdness. And their weirdness. Not at our friends. Laughing with our with friends. Our friends. <laughs> no, no. Laughing at our friends. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's that's Sorry, how you can God, tell tr tr <laughs> That's how you can tell your true friends. They laugh at you. Not with you. <laughs> at you. <laughs> I laugh at myself all the time. It's all good. Grood. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Groot? I tried to say good and great at the same time, and, and it turned into did not Groot. Work out very well. <laughs> we are Groot. We are Groot. <laughs> yes, episode 15. Our Muppet. Our Muppet Karen. Um. So yes, Miss Karen. She is awesome, and all the good things to her for her writing because she's an awesome writer. And again, I would love to have her involved more. Um, in the blog when she has time. Um, she is hilarious and she has started many a phrase for us, including Mary Lou. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was another one where we were laughing pretty hard. <laughs> and I did like too how we how we started introducing the whole um, if anyone else has questions and they would tweet and Facebook us. Any question? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hope that gains popularity because it's it's fun to get the outside questions. What was Whoa, that? Nelly. What happened? The aliens was... ate Rachel. They did. They ate her. She's gone. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, then. Um, we believe we've lost Rachel, but um, just as, a, as an ending note, um, 2016 for Nerds Are Us specifically looks very bright. We have Mr. Joel Telling, everyone's favorite high fiver and 3D printing nerd. He is epically adorable. Who else do we have lined up for 2016? Edgar. 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 Mm. Mr. Bowties himself. And Justin. Mm -hmm. Justin. From the Geek. And um, we have many more aspirations for other cool people. And we hope to continue to bring um, enjoyable content for everyone. And honestly, we have our we, we can only gauge it for ourselves. Like if we we always do a little powwow to discuss what what each of us is going to do individually and um, based on our own opinions. You know, we, we try to kind of satisfy our own little nerdy needs and each other's little nerdy needs and then hope that everyone else is pleased with it. But we're aware that we can't please everyone and we're totally okay with that because we'd, we'd rather have someone either like be totally 100% or absolutely hate it because that means we're doing something right and we're mm -hmm. not just playing it safe. So, um... Yeah. At least that's how I see things. Like the first would say, take chances, get messy, and make mistakes. I know I said that in the wrong order, most likely, but no, that's right. all those three phrases are there. That's right. You got Is it. Is it right? Yeah. The first taught me well. That's all I have to say. <laughs> and I think that's a good ending sentence. Unless Ms. Jams so would like to say something. Oh, I think that's a good place to end things. We'll see you nerds in 2016. 
And I'm sure Rachel sends hugs and love, but the aliens ate her. So. <laughs> Happy New Year, yeah. nerds. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.